Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? How are my favorite, favorite groups of people, my dashikis and bonnets people? How's everyone doing today? I definitely need more cards because, yeah, I do. All right, any more cards? I need a different card for my dashikis and bonnet stuff. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Um, I could use this card or I could use this card. Why don't we use... Sometimes I like the scarier ones. All right. Why don't we use this, these cards? All right. Hello, eight. Hi, Melanin. Hi, Teresa. How are you? Hi, Anita. Got some makeup in my eyes. Oh, my God. My eyes. How's everyone doing today? Are you guys getting ready? Are you guys getting ready for the Biden um, Harris inaugural? Are you guys getting ready? Um, there should be a full shit show from Trump starting on the 7th. Starting on the 7th, it should be a huge shit show. Like meltdown after meltdown after meltdown. <clears throat> Until he walks out. <laughs> Until he just walks out. <laughs> Until he gives Pence the reign. Here, Pence, you're president. Exonerate me. And I'm getting the hell up out of here. That's what I think is going to happen. <laughs> full shit show coming. Ugh. Full shit show. We have the worst president. He's worse than Napoleon. He's worse than Stalin. He's worse than Putin. Putin act like he actually has morals. Khomeini, he's worse than Khomeini. Who am I forgetting? What are some of my Asian uh, people, leaders? He's worse than all of them. What is wrong with my eyes today? You know you're not supposed to put your hands in your eyes, but it really is bothering me. All right. He's worse than all of them. And all we have is 15 days left. God, please. Do we have 15 days left? Let me check the date. 15 days. Come on. This is going to be the slowest 15 days of our lives. Come on, people. The slowest 15 days ever. And who got arrested? The poor boys? The leader of the poor boys? <laughs> now, you know with this new administration, the leader of the poor boys was going to go down. Y'all know that, right? Right? The CIA and the FBI has to shift gears. All right, they have a new leader in the house. Biden is in the Biden's not in the house yet, but they have a new leader. And so with that being said, the poor boys are supposed to go down. We're not trying to have no trifling um crap like it's not like seriously it's not it's not y'all gonna get y'all gonna get caught with all your little secret meetings y'all gonna get caught it's not that kind of world right now we're gonna create a better world whether poor boys like it or not 
ain't gonna be no chaos. Y'all gotta stop encouraging the news media. What you do is you don't watch the news. If you don't watch the news, the news can't tell you what to do, all right? So they can't say there's gonna be chaos. How? How's there gonna be chaos? You're supposed to have a police force. I don't have time. I will not be watching the news. He's like King Nebetsina. I know that in the Bible. I was like, I know that name. <laughs> in the Bible, yes. <laughs> Hi, Miss Tracy from Philly. How are you, my beautiful spiritual soul sister? I will be glad when the voting is over. Well, voting is today, and let's encourage voting because we need Georgia to pull through. We need Georgia to go blue. Go blue, Georgia. Go blue. Go blue. All right. And by the way, we won't get the results in tonight because the mail-in votes have begun since December 5th, and they don't count the mail-in votes until the polls close tonight. So what we will get is a partial something or other. All right. Guys are killing me. All right. Hello, everyone. Let me see. Hello, Georgia. Georgia Peach, are you voting, sweetie? That's all I care about. Things are really on edge in D.C. No, it's not. Stop making the news media tell you that. Turn off your TVs. Ignore what's on edge. Turn off your TVs. Stay home. Nothing can happen if y'all stay home like you're supposed to be home. Listen to this. Let's, let's, let's do some psychology here. If you're supposed to be home, like COVID is telling you to stay home, no chaos, nothing can happen. If anything, the poor boys will eat themselves. You're supposed to be home. Try that and we don't have no issues. Seriously, I know that might be a new concept for some of you out there. Turn off your TV. Do not watch CNN. Do not watch MSNBC. Do not watch your local channel tomorrow. Nothing. Nothing tomorrow. Do not watch this stupid poor boy parade. Nothing. Nothing. All right. You, we all have to take our power back, and that means taking it back from the media. They controlled us the whole time Trump was in administration. The whole time they controlled us. It needs to end. We take our lives back, and we stop tuning into them until they figure out we want programming that belongs to us. Like Big Sky, what the hell? What is wrong with ABC that they would put out something like Big Sky? I don't know about you guys, but I am tired of men attacking women. And then they made a whole TV show about it. Y'all gotta be talking to these people. They're not allowed to do that and insult our intelligence and for women to think, yeah, I really enjoy a show about a sheriff that kidnaps little girls. And then two women fight over each other over a guy that died in the first episode. Really? Really? You control all of them. Your money, your time, your energy controls all of that. Who's watching Big Sky? Anybody in my group is watching Big Sky? Because it's a stupid show. Child nature, right side up. Jesus Christ, of course... This is the card for the day. 
when they know I have a problem with this. All right, all right, all right, spirit, I hear you. My throat hurts, like right here. Right there. Child nature. Friendships with animals. Communication with nature spirits. Now listen, I do all of that. I feed the honey, the uh, hummingbirds. I feed the wild birds. And my favorite are the chickpeas. I think that's the name of the bird. The squirrels run rampant up and down my terrace, which is a little embarrassing because nobody else has that problem. I'm just waiting for the squirrel. He ate away at my uh, container. My plastic container, he ate away. It's very tall plastic container with all the bird feed in it. And he ate it away to get inside. So I'm just waiting for him to finish everything inside. I'm going to throw the plastic container away. And then maybe they'll get the memo. I think I'm up to four squirrels now. First it was two, but now the neighborhood, they don't went out and told the neighborhood. And I think I'm up to four. Ugh. Friendship with animals, communications with nature spirits. Child nature. Inspires intimate bonding with natural forces. Shows affinity for friendships with animals. Y'all, a lot of y'all got a lot of affinity to animals. I was thinking about getting a cat. Then I changed my mind. Because then I saw a TikTok video with this little girl and a cat, and she was hugging it. And I was like, I don't have the, like, I want a cat. I don't have the energy to hug a cat all day. Or to have the cat come on my desk, and I got to do tarot readings, and it's going to jump on my desk. Like, there's so much going on, and I'm like, oh, let me just, let me just not do animals right now. I had animals for years, 20 years of my life, I had animals and they weren't mine. Not one animal was mine. And I wound up taking care of all of them. All right. Has inner toughness and ability to survive. Oh, well, that's a, that's a thing. Who's got inner toughness? Please get a cat and start your kitten. No. Chickadees. LS Cherry, thank you, chickadees. Make the sound chick, chicka dee dee. Oh, I love chickadees. They're so cute. They're so cute. And the other birds treat the chickadees real bad, real bad. <clears throat> I watch all of them. And sometimes the other birds fight with each other. What is wrong with the animal kingdom? I'm watching all of this for no reason. And then sometimes around lunchtime, they're all gone right now, which I don't know why they're all gone, which is weird. But sometimes around lunchtime, all the others go away, I think, to sleep. And one bird sits in the bed of the food, making sure other birds, are, it's just bizarre. The animal kingdom is bizarre, and I'm watching all of this. <sighs> And squirrels are rats. So, I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. Hi, pretty brown girl. We are just like the animals. We are exactly like the animals. When I see them fighting for no reason, I'm like, that's what humans do. We just fight for no reason. They do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Hi, Tracy. Hello, sweetie. What's the Taurus? I love your name, Red Roses. I'm a bird. Are you, Ellis Cherry? What does I'm a bird mean? Hi, Ifas. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Destiny. I didn't even see you there. Hello. Well, listen. I know how to train a cat. Trust me. I've had cats. I just don't want to go back into training a cat. Like, my cat would never, ever get on my kitchen countertop. Ever. I do not share food and hair. 
don't start none, won't be none. That's what I tell my cats. One. I only have one cat. So, I don't know. I, just the thought. Like, I want a cat. Because I don't want a dog. Because I don't want to walk it every day. I did that for 15 years. And I did that for 20 years. Because I had two dogs at the same. It doesn't really matter. I don't want to walk every day. And it's the morning walk. If I can just get them to be trained to walk at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we'd have a good life together. But no, they got to have their morning walk. So I can't do... I can't do dogs because... I've been through that for 20 years. I just, I can't do that. It's so cold in the morning, guys. I will not, I can't, I won't, I won't do it. And I mean morning for California. I'm not even talking about your mornings. Your mornings are cold with snow and stuff. That's, I'm not even talking about real cold. I'm talking about California cold. I can't handle California cold. My name is Hawk Like and Birds. My ear is bothering me. And birds talk to me the most. Oh, my aunt used to call me Shady Bird and had no clue of the significance. That is so cool. Maybe you need to shoulder a bird. What does that mean? Why would I shoulder a bird? Like put a bird on my shoulder? Pretty ground girl. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. I once saw, I think it was like, an Instagram where the cat was in the smoothie on the kitchen counter, like in the smoothie. And they took a picture and was like, isn't that cute? And I was like, oh, oh. no, it's not cute. I cannot, I can't. So, no. It was in the, not the smoothie, with smoothie in it. It was in the um the ninja. The cat was in the daggone ninja. And I was like, there are some things you can't get hair out of. You know what I mean? And, and it was upright. So that means the cat's boo-boo was at the bottom, sitting on the bottom of the blade. I was like, that is not cute. I mean, it kind of looked cute, but it's not cute. When you think of the ramifications behind that, unless, you know, unless the mama just put the the cat in. You know, people play those games, too. Everything ain't real on, um, on Instagram, but I just couldn't handle it. I, I can't. I will not. Somebody goes, oh, hell to the nah. <laughs> Oh, my God. So, hey, this is your card for today. Easy breezy day. Friendships with animals. Communications with nature spirits. My Georgians, go vote. Enjoy voting. Today's the day. And today's the day where you get to bring the bread home. Bring the bread home blue. No, Jerry, no. No, I actually, parrots are my favorite, and wild green parrots are my favorite. But hell to the no, I will never have a bird sitting on my shoulder. They shit. Period. I used to have an African gray parrot, and my dad used to, the bird used to walk on its fingers, and it, it was my bird. It wasn't my bird. It was my brother's bird. I don't know why I took it from my brother. It doesn't really matter. And then, uh, but he took to my dad better. Never talked to me. This, after, the, the bird never talked to me except to kill a bracelet that I had. I took a bracelet, placed it at the bird cage, but outside the bird cage, it pushed the. Um, the cup out, took my bracelet, and 
tore it up. Yeah. And then another time, um, there was this guy on the bus, right? I was on a bus. There was this guy on the bus. And the guy said, it's just a weird thing. And he goes, I've got these birds. I don't know what to do with them. And I can't bring them home. My landlord won't let me have these birds. And he said, do you want the birds? And I said, sure. I don't even know why I did it. And I took the birds, brought it to my job. I was working as a psychic at a time at a store. Brought it to my job and took the birds home. And then it turns out, uh, turns out the male bird was abusive to the female bird. And he was plucking at her, but I didn't know this until she, until I noticed it. Oh my God. And then she, so I had to separate them, right? So I separate the male from the female, right? And then every day I would have to close the bedroom doors because they were in different bedrooms because the cat, I had gotten another cat. Oh, it's a long story. I mean, my life is hell. So I got another cat that came off the street. No, it didn't come off the street. My neighbor had all these animals and the cat was left outside. So I brought the cat in my house. And then I told the cat, if you're a good cat, I'll keep you. And then I just told the cat, if you screw with Bones, who's my favorite dog, I was like, I will kick you out on a dime. Mess with Bones and you, you don't have a home, right? And then I put the cat in the bathroom. Good morning, Haley. Good morning, morning Milo. Good morning, baby. Hi. Ah, he's looking down. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ah, oh, he's trying. Yay, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, Milo. You're just going to wave at me one day. Yes. <laughs> it's too much for me. Oh, no, if he's doing that that fast, you will never get bored. These kids nowadays... He will be talking to you about spaceships. You can't handle it, right? <laughs> Stay a baby. Bye, Milo. Bye. And so I separated the two birds. And then this other cat that I brought in, who had been with me for a while, right? But you got to close the door. And then my son, I'm always going to blame him. He left and left the doors open. And then when we got home that night, there were no more birds. There were bits and pieces all over the floor, but there were no more birds. These are true stories. I'm sorry, people. Oh, well, there you go. My friend, when they were kids, Red Roses said, she gave the parrot a candy red and it died. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know how traumatizing that is when you actually kill something? So traumatizing. <laughs> when my son, I didn't even pick up what was on the floor. And so when my, I would not pick it up. And so when my son came home, I was like, can you please clean up everything that's on the floor? And so he's about to pick it up and he goes, what is this? And I was like, it's the birds. And I walked away from him and he was bawling, just bawling. <laughs> to this day, he doesn't carry animals. You gotta learn your lesson. I'm not picking up your mess. You did that. You know you're supposed to close the door to save the animals. And then the guy called me. And thank God, remember it was back in the day when you would leave messages, right? And the guy called me months later and he's like, oh, just, you know, chicken on the birds. And I was like, yep, I'm not answering that call. So, all right. Are you guys good for today? 
yeah, Miss Sheena, over the years, over the years, I've had animals. And then my, one of my best friend's daughter, Chelsea, she's been on the show. She knows how I complain about animals. And then she goes, why do you have, like, why? Like she's almost saying like, don't do it. Stop having animals. And I think I'm at that point. All the animals have died from healthy ages at this point, the two dogs and the cat. I just don't want to do another 20 years of another animal. I just, I know me, I know me. So as much as I want an animal, I don't want an animal. And, and if you start your kittens off right, you can bathe your cats. Cats can be bathed, but you got to start them off young. All right. So the cat that I had loved to get in that tub. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. You guys are good. We're just talking about nothing right now. Just having fun. Talking about nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, there you go. Hi, Allie. How are you? Did you look at my video yet? Did you look at my video? I told everyone about Allie at all, all, no, Allie V Fit. Start getting your exercise on for the new year, period. You should come on my show, Allie, so you could tell everybody who you are and introduce yourself. I'll uh, DM you later. How's that? All right, guys. Love you and goodbye. Right, Kami? Kami knows true. Cats can be bathed. Yes. Start them off young. Bathe them. Mm -mm, they won't scratch you, but you got to start them off young. All right, guys. Guess who's hungry? I love you.